This is a video confirming lid motor stalks really. I believe he's gone back to not using the uh, levitated, the bouncy levitation that's been shown in a few videos. Yeah, I think the hole in the middle might be the problem longer term. I've gone back to one of these, which is the other type of semi-levitated, on a, a bathroom tile. You can see that the top part there of the pin is not touching the magnets and in fact is resting on this tile. I had one running for three years that didn't show, seem to show any evidence of scratching or pitting or what have you on the tile. So I'm very happy with it. Uh, what I've got running today is I've got a, what's it called now, an SS1CC from Smart Creations 2010. Um, I built that up and I put a 500 ohm coil from one of these dancing guys. As you can see he's hardly moving, I've got a 5 watt light bulb there and it's not enough for that guy really to move so I had to abandon the solar thinking and he said made a simple salt cell. There's Epsom salts and water in there, just a pinch of Epsom salts. I've got a piece of magnesium and a piece of copper and that puts out 1.7 volts at 16 milliamps and so no charging, no nothing. Um, I'll see how long that lasts but it's perfectly enough to run this thing. When this is going slower you know, that light there does flash. So I'll just show the circuit though so you don't have to go ferrying off there to Smart Creations channel though I would do because these videos are really pretty good. So the, the setup is slightly different is the import is the salt cell. I've also got a 2SA1015 as the PNP and a 2SC945 as the NPN. So that's those two transistors. And uh, my coil, as I say, is a 500 ohm uh, small coil from one of these little dancing guys. And that's powering that away pretty nicely. If I do stop this now, this has been running for about seven hours. So, uh, and we inspect underneath, uh, you won't be able to see anything, I don't imagine, but there's no, absolutely nothing there. Now, if I keep the camera on the circuit, we should see that flash at some point. It seems to go off every few seconds. But uh, it's also self-starting. These things are self-starting, these circuits. They're a good alternative, really, um, instead of the, the dancing wavy toy things. Right, sorry about that. I was having trouble. There we go, there's a flash there. Actually showing the flash of the LED. Um, yeah, it wasn't coming out on the footage. But anyway, as you can see, every now and again, you'll see a flash like that. And that keeps the thing going and as the rotor goes faster which is also another problem to show um, the light gets dimmer but the power output comes from um, the switching faster of the uh, the circuit and it keeps the thing spinning pretty fast speed as you saw before it'd been running for hours and hours so that's the direction I think I'm going to go um, probably keeping with this at the moment but if anyone comes up with an actually levitated type that uh, doesn't have those problems we noticed uh, with the middle hole perhaps getting bigger over time then um, that would be great to know but anyway so there we are that's my update really including the failed solar idea okay thanks for watching